We elves try to stick to the four main food groups, candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. Today's festive video will be unwrapping the new NECA Toys Elf Buddy the Elf Retro Cloth Action Figure. So, how tall is Buddy the Elf? Let's take the tape measure. Take the Ultra Measuretron 5000. Ooh, that sounds magical. Let's put the tape measure right to the top of his head. Counting really the top of his hat, I measured 8.1 inches. Switching that to centimeters, the figure stands 20.5 magical centimeters in height. For his accessories, he comes with exactly what you would want Buddy the Elf to come included with. He comes with a bag of pasta. Bag of pasta, which you can hold into his hand. They've done a good enough job of making the plastic look like something that could, in theory, be a bag. And then you can see that there's the pasta inside there. To go along with that, because you know this is something he puts up, likes to put on top of that, he comes with a little jar of maple syrup. Canadian maple syrup as well. Uh, the nozzle cannot come off, so just in, thank you, just in case you think you could pour it on your own pasta, you silly goose, you can't do that. But he does come with this little bottle of maple syrup. Then under the category of please don't lose me, please don't lose me, please don't lose me, please don't lose me, he comes included with a snow globe. Now they have printed something, you can see it on that one side, something that is supposed to be an image. Unfortunately, though, the, the smokiness, like the plastic that they use for the actual snow globe, is not clear enough that you can actually make out what it's supposed to be. It's small enough, and again, it's under the don't lose me, don't lose me, don't lose me category. I'm probably not going to display him with it anyways, but, you know, it's unfortunate that the printing on the back, you really can't see through it to actually make out what it's supposed to be. We'll put that over there trying our best not to lose it. And let's have a look at Buddy the Elf. Now, I'm really thrilled for the fact that we do get finally a Buddy the Elf in retro cloth form. Retro cloth, I think, is about the closest way we may get a character like this. NECA does its best due diligence to release all these figures in retro cloth form because it guarantees them for, for them. Producing a figure like this is a lot more cost effective. As I know, you've probably seen enough of me say that in these videos that it can warrant a figure like this being released as opposed to molding all of this by scratch um, you're basically just taking an existing retro cloth body and you're just simply putting the fabric over top of it you would probably find it hard to believe that pr producing uh, fabric clothing is a lot cheaper than tooling a brand new mold every single time a new figure had to come out. So for them, it's very cost effective. And I'm so glad that they release figures like this, especially one magical like Buddy the Elf, one of Will Ferrell's probably more famous uh, films is probably something that people watch every single year. Do you watch Elf every single year? Let me know down below. What's your top five favorite Christmas movies? Anyways, looking at the head sculpt, I think it's a pretty good likeness there of Will Ferrell or as Buddy. Normally, the problems that I have with retro cloth figures aren't as prevalent here on Buddy the Elf. I don't find it's as pasty of the paint as we've gotten with some of the other, other retro cloth figures. Overall, I'm not, I'm not upset with the, the head sculpt. Actually, I think it looks almost even better than it does on the packaging, the physical head sculpt, that is. It comes with a little hat, hel uh, elf hat on his head. Try saying that three times fast. But uh, you can't take it off. It's just molded into place. Definitely, I think the likeness is there. It looks like him. Um, of course, he's wearing his elf jacket. A very, very tight pair of yellow elf pants. Um, he does not have... Let me just lift this up. He doesn't have anything underneath. Would you believe that Will Ferrell has a six-pack 
according to this figure he does. Again, just because they're using the retro cloth bodies. A very big belt. I'm wondering if this is a, the same belt. I would have to go back and look as the one that came with Billy uh, from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Definitely would have to go back and double check that. Maybe maybe it's not the same belt. It's a nice detailing that's been added to the jacket, which almost feels like it could be like a polar fleece if I could do my best to describe to you guys, the viewers who don't physically have this in your hand. I would say the closest thing to this is probably like a polar fleece. It's got some images there of sleds, stars, you name it, Christmas related. You'll probably find it all over his, uh, his jacket here. Jacket splits off on the back. And of course he's got his elf shoes. I wanna talk about that in a second. Remind me to talk about the elf shoes in a second. There's the underside of his shoes. He's got some fur trim around the top of his collar and fur trim around his sleeves. He has brand new hands specifically for holding, say, the bag. You know, it's funny though, on the packaging, there's a little label. You know, you don't believe me. Okay, that's fine. There's a little label. There's the head sculpt, by the way. There's a little label on there that I think says candy. Or it says something. I think it says candy. But on the bag, there's nothing there. It's just, you know, it's not it's absent. It's with without markings. Uh, and then you can go ahead and take the jar of maple syrup. Make sure you have the label facing out. And it, probably that's going to be how I'm displaying the figure. With the bag of pasta and the uh, the maple syrup in his other hand. As for the please don't lose me, please don't lose me, please don't lose me snow globe. It's probably going to get lost along the ways. It's just bound to happen. Let's talk about his posability, shall we? His head rotates all the way around. If you've collected any of these retro cloth figures, this is basically the exact same articulation on all those figures. Arms hinge out, and you can rotate them forward, you can rotate them back, you can rotate his hand, you can rotate this hand. Waist swivel, uh, legs go forward and back, split out. Um, there's a swivel on the top part of his thigh. You bend at the knee, and now we get to the feet. No, I didn't forget. His feet, here comes Mr. Old Broken Record. His feet, once again, are on pegs, just allowing the legs, the feet to hinge back and forth. The problem with, I find ongoingly with the retro cloth figures is uh, if you look at the legs, there's always one foot that's bound to be on an angle. This one here is relatively flat. You could probably say, say that. But then this foot sort of just veers off. This one's packing its belongings and it's being on its merry little way. This other foot is like, don't go, we need you. This is how we can stand. No, no, I'm being on my way, I'm leaving today. And unfortunately, while he's leaving, he's leaving a little bit on an angle, which causes the figure, as well as other retro cloth figures, to always have a problem when I find to stand. This could, of course, be remedied by an ongoing suggestion that I always make. I don't know why can they not swap a peg out peg going through the hinge with something like a ball joint. You could then easily bend the foot this way and this way, and then you get the full rotation all the way around. And I also think, I'm no expert when it comes to making action figures after all, but I think a ball joint on the bottom of a leg, being that it's already assembled to the bottom of the leg, wouldn't be any bit more expensive. It would actually be cheaper than to take something like a pin, which is another piece of plastic, and put a pin through that, that slot to hold the, the foot in place. But the only thing that's the one nitpick I could make for the figure, otherwise pretty happy with Buddy the Elf. Wish he could stand a little bit better. But gosh darn it, he's still a cute looking retro cloth version of Will Ferrell in one of his more popular films. He's done certainly a lot of other funny films out there, but people certainly around the holiday season always tend to watch Elf. Do you watch Elf? Let me know down below. Buddy the Elf now joins the ranks of some of the other classic Christmas characters that NECA has made into retro cloth figures. Case in point, there was the Kevin from Home Alone, there was the Old Man from Christmas Story, Silent Night, Deadly Night's Billy, we're getting a Ricky this year, and one can't forget National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Clark Griswold, who got not just one, but two of his own retro cloth figures, most of which I've already reviewed on this channel, so if you'd like to go back and have a look at those, I'm very happy that we finally get ourselves Buddy the Elf. That facial expression perfectly nails the clueless nature of Buddy in the film, and I think it does look a lot like Will Ferrell. 
Uh, the cloth outfit, I think, works well for Christmas characters. It works well, really, for figures as a whole, but there's something about Christmas characters and giving them real fabric that gives them that a little bit of extra magic. Still wish there was one bit of magic that could have fixed the problems with Buddy's ankles. It's the same problem that I have with a lot of the retro cloth figures that NECA produces. It's always that same foot. You're probably seeing it right now. That foot is wandering off on an angle. It can't sit flat. And as a result, Buddy at times may topple over. You may have to just kind of compensate him by spreading the legs and making sure that at least one foot is firmly planted to compensate for the fact that the other one isn't. Either way though, a great magical pickup, something I certainly wanted to look at for this year's Christmas spots. Today we were having a look at the new released NECA Toys Buddy the Elf from, this, from the movie Elf. Let me know who else would you like to see in retro cloth form. The only other ones that I was thinking about was the Bill Murray, uh, of course Bill Murray from Scrooge, and the other one I, I thought was what about Arnold Schwarzenegger from Turbo Man? But who else would you like to see NECA toys make into retro cloth figures based on Christmas classics? Let me know down below. Certainly more Christmas spots we lined up for the rest of this year, or the rest of this month, I guess leading into the end of the year, because the end of 2018 is coming up real fast. Could you imagine? I feel like 2018, we zipped by at record speed. Let's hope that 2019 is, is just, just as good as 2018, but we're not gonna get too ahead of ourselves here. More Christmas videos will be coming your way, guys. Also, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming onto this channel, Christmas-related or otherwise, you'll never be able, you'll never miss out on them. Uh, as always, guys, more videos will be coming your way. More Christmas goodies will be coming your way. More figures and collectibles to unwrap this season, so to speak. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.